here's the round that we're going to be testing out today. It's the uh, Hornady Tap round, 147 grain, uh, jacketed hollow point, item number 90288 in Hornady's catalog. You can see the uh, advertised muzzle velocity there of 975 feet per second. And uh, we'll move on with the test. Alright guys, you saw the ammo that we're using today? This is the gun we're using today. It's the old SIG P6 9mm weapon. And I'll post the barrel specs and everything right below where I'm talking right now. And uh, we'll get into the gel test. Well as you can see we got some results that may surprise some people here with that uh, tap ammo. You can see there when it goes in the small entry hole it opens up a little bit right about the one inch mark but it travels all the way down. It's a good thing I put the second block there because I uh, kept going through that with uh, little to no expansion whatsoever, at least from what it looks like from outside the uh, block. We'll pull it out and look at it closer, but as you guys can see, traveled all the way through the 16 inch block, and the uh, leading edge of it right, is right there at 20 and a half inches. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out, take a look at it, see if it's plugged with denim or, or what caused it not to expand. Just wanna get an overhead view of the wound track so you guys can see that as well. Um, again, we're moving down throughout the block, Get down to the 16 inch block and keeps going straight on through. I'm not sure how well you guys can actually see that there, but it's right there at the leading edge of 20 and a half inches. We'll go ahead and zoom around so you guys can actually see where the bullet is. Go ahead and pull that out next. Well, this is a first for my hollow point ammo testing here. First time we've had a bullet not expand at all. I'm not sure whether, whether it was due to the uh, relatively short length of the SIG P6 barrel or uh, if something just got clogged, maybe some denim clogged it up and it didn't expand going in. There was no denim left in the bullet though when I pulled it out. It looked just as you see it right there in front of you with no expansion. Um, it did yaw a little bit going through that gel block, which you guys probably saw in the bullet track, but it did not expand. But it's just one data point. I'm not saying all these rounds are bad, but it leads me to question it, that's for sure. Um, as always, guys, though, if you have any questions about this test, um, any other test I do, any other review I do, feel free to post here or you can post over at my Facebook page. I appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, thanks for sh for uh, subscribing to the channel. Feel free to share these videos if you'd like to. It helps helps me out here. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.